Hi, this is Kim with Brightly Crafted and I am going to make some prints on my jelly plate. I have just a few stencils. I have this big one. Um, I have some leaves. I have this mandala. Hey, a lot of color on these. They've been really used. <laughs> I have these two geometric ones, which really are kind of my favorite. And then I have this um, spider one, spider web one. And it is a, this one is a Tim Holtz. I'm not sure where these other ones came from. I've had them all for quite a while, as you can tell. Um, the bigger one I am just putting down on the, um, underneath my paper over here so that when I have extra, I can just roll off. Um, and onto that to make a starting background. Just gonna squeeze a little paint here. Hmm, maybe. And start with the first coat. I don't want a huge a huge amount of coverage for the first coat, but I just need to get something down. I've got the copy paper here. that off quick. You can still see some of the, the last poles I used when I used this actual uh, the, the bigger stencil there. And now I'm going to put some more on there because I want to get the rest of the edges of that paper. I don't know why it's not going to come out today. Oops, a little bit too much. That, that's okay. I'll just use that to start the next paper. Fairly smooth coat here. And then we'll get the edge. Right. the edge. And a little bit more of these. I think it's covered. Okay, I can get, pick up a little bit more on this. There. Oh. Well, we got it all green. That's the first first layer. I'm going to set that aside and see if I can adjust my color a little bit. Oh, it doesn't, I don't know how to actually adjust anything on this. It's not letting me, it's not working very well today. I don't know whether it's the fact that it's really dark out because it's, um, it's rainy or what's going on, but it's just not really working today. Uh, my hand looks normal colored. All right, and now I'm going to, um, I got a burgundy here, and I'm going to do another um, background just like I did with that one. No stencils yet. But I like to have a couple different background papers to start with rather than just ones that I've rolled off on. on the back of this one. If you can see I just rolled this off on that paper. The paper was laying on a stencil so it left some interesting markings on that. And then I need another piece of paper. And I'm going to pick up some of this burgundy color for a background. It's pretty dark. You see it also picked up some of the, the green and that was left over from before. Definitely not an exact science. It's just basically playing with the paper. Want a little bit more of that burgundy. This true burgundy folk art color. I want to get a little bit better coverage on the rest of the edges of the paper. Sometimes I don't worry about the edges. I just do that. What's actually on the gel plate, but today, jelly plate, but today I kind of want to get all these edges. Oh, that's better. A little bit left here. Okay, 
So now we have our um, two starting backgrounds. We have the green and the burgundy. Um, let's see what, what I can do here. Well, that's a little better. Still can't really tell that that's green. I don't know. Okay. So my next um, color I'm going to use, I think, whether it's a green or the burgundy, I'm going to use some of this navy blue. This is an apple barrel that says Admiral Blue. Um, I usually use my favorite is uh, Old Navy, but I wasn't able. I don't think I have one. Oh, yeah, I do. English Navy. Brand new one. Got it yesterday. So we're going to do that. The light layer. Get that on here. I'm going to roll this off on the back of the burgundy, which in itself is pretty cool because it kind of turned out purple. All right, I'm going to take a stencil. I think I'll use this one. We'll lay that in that reddish. Well, uh, it, it was English navy and the burgundy, and it kind of turned purple because I had a little bit more of the burgundy on there than I expected. I'm going to get some of these lines out of here of this stencil. So, off those marks. I'm going to move it over. Do it again. Up on the other side. Now, I'm not trying to get every single bit out of the inside of this stencil. Just enough to make some interesting marks on there. And then I'm going to take this this one and lay it up here and go back over this piece of paper. Get those little bits of it, those little squares out of there. I have such a small workspace when I've got the computer on here. It's a little harder to do things like this. Press that in. And there, I've got some marks on there. All right, now we should have a nice leftover pattern on here. So I'm just going to take the green and go right over that. Okay, now you see that, it looks kind of purpley, green markers, marks are all there. So we have these two pieces, and those will be the first two. I'm going to set them over here to dry, and let's start on another one. <coughs> I need a new roll sheet, and another piece here for our first, and I'm going to put some turquoise down. This one is an apple barrel Tuscan teal. Now before I um, start with this one, I'm going to take this little spider web and I'm just going to lay it on here so that it picks up some of that paint. If I roll it like this and push it in at the same time, it kind of um, picks up a little bit better. And then I am going to use this mandala and do the same thing. Just pick up some of that paint. Oh, it didn't get much. Okay. Now we're going to let this dry and then I think over the top of that I'm going to try some uh, Maybe this uh, forest moss. Let's see what happens if I go ahead and do this without it being totally gray. This is 
going to pull the paint, the undercoat off. I don't have a camera that I can pause, or I would have done so while this dried. Well, there we go. Well, let's see what we get. Ah, yeah. That's cool. It pulled up a lot of that burgundy. You can see a little bit of the spider web in there. We're gonna, I'm going to um, do this a little bit of a blend here, a little bit of the green and the navy that I was just using. And then get the catch the edges on that one. Hopefully it's not mud. It kind of looks like it when I rolled it off. It doesn't look the greatest. I want to try this kind of a leafy thing. Pick up some of that color with that. A little bit over here. And I'm gonna get the edges. this top. And there. There's our third piece that's going to go down on the floor. You know, I have kind of two green tones and a burgundy. And I think I'm going to totally switch colors here and try this purple and see what happens with it. Some of that green off of there. Gonna turn to mud over here if I'm not careful. Alright, now I'm going to use that and pick up all of that in the background. Purple down. Oops, quite a bit there. In the meantime, I've been rolling off my uh, extra and on um, this piece of paper, and that'll also be um, set aside for a background. I'm going to get a new paper for that. I've got a ton of purple here, so I'm going to get some of that off. Roll it off over here. Okay. Is that purple? It looks like it's blue. Can I find purple anywhere here? It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Yeah, just not sure what's wrong with my camera today, but this is a purple. And I need to pick up some of this for around these edges. There. 
piece number four on the floor. <laughs> Not because I've still got purple on here. And I've got this piece I've been using to roll off. I'm just going to pick up some of that. Get it up on this piece of paper around the edges. And that'll be another start of a background. All that off there. All right, there we go. Yep, look at that. I gotta adjust this. This is really crazy. There's just no, no fixing it today. Really bad. Really bad. Oh, that did something there. Okay, that's a little better. All right, so now I got my purple. This purple one, I think, would be a nice color on this purple. It'd be pretty bright. I'm going to use black. Actually, this is called licorice. Mm -mm -mm. Come on out. All right, when using black, I don't like to have um, like super intense black. So, be really careful with this. I'm gonna just start with on this purple piece, just picking up some of that black from behind. I don't really want the overall pattern. I don't need it, but. I just want some color on there, a little bit of black. All right, it's got enough markings on it for now. I'm going to flip this back off of there. Grab one of these others. Let's try this green one here. Let's see how this works. I just want to really lightly lay that on there and pick up some of that pattern. stop with this one for now. I'll come back with some white, maybe some mark making over that. In the meantime, I got the major portion of this up, so I want to be able to use this as a, another background. And because I always already have a purple one, I'm going to do again the burgundy over the top of this. piece of paper if I can grab one here. Pick that up. Yeah. That's pretty vibrant. I go back and get the edges. <clears throat> I want to add a little texture in there. So 
I'll just roll this around on that. rest of this with that really light area. Alright, that'll work. That is number th four, five, six. We now have six on the floor. One color I haven't used yet, I think, is some of this gold. And I am going to, it's just, um, it's called cinnamon. It's not a metallic gold. Another folk art paint. All right, and for this one. Use the leaves already. I think I'm gonna use this leaf pattern and pick up some of that on this blue green piece. Oh, just a real light swishing around on that. gives us texture all the way across. And that this is layer number three on this one. And because we're using gold, I'm gonna go with this one right here. And I'm gonna try to pick up most of what's left on here. Oh yeah. Part of the stencil. That's kind of weird. Although it broke, or all this time I've been using it, it just didn't have that. Huh. A little stripe down the center. Well, that is layer number three on this page as well. The paper's really getting heavy. It needs to dry. I'm going to set it. <coughs> Excuse me. Set it aside. And I think I'm going to see if I can pick up any of this extra color. It's like one of these purple pages. Just a little bit around the edges there. Got that. Love the grunge. All right. Let's start again. And meanwhile, I do have this piece also that I can do something with, and then this piece. So I've got those set here aside to get ready for. Put a new piece of paper over here on my stencil. And we're going to go back to the green. Take the green. I got a purple. Purple one down here. I want to try to do something with. Now, this may look like it's going to get repetitive, but that's just kind of what you do. You have to keep going back over and over if you want all those nice grungy layers. But if you keep adding these, um, the sheets over here on on this side. <laughs> if you add those sheets over here. Um, then you'll, you're making background papers as we go. 
I think I'm going to hit this one a little bit with some of that green. Oh, I didn't get too much of that. I'm not trying to get all of it. I don't want a perfect stencil. I just want the marks on there. Okay. Happy with that. Take this back over here. This page next. I don't want the same stencil because I used that on here already. I think I want to put a little bit of the gold over the top of this. Give it a minute to dry. I've used my um uh my not my uh, uh blow dryer, but one of those dryers forgot what they're called on this on the this before but then I thought you know I don't want to heat up the jelly plate I don't know what might happen to it so I haven't used it since to dry stuff but I get impatient which is why I sometimes end up with mud but you can always go if you do that you can always go back over it with another color almost like you meant to do it Oops. A lot of control over here. All right, so <clears throat> I want to do some mandala. I don't want to have the whole thing in there again. Oh, that's nice. I just rolled off on that. That's not gonna work. That won't work. Let's see if I can get get it in here. The stencil is really kind of too big. The top part of it is too big to be using it like this. But I'm going to try anyway. <sighs> yep, got a little touch of gold on there. up here if I can. I don't have much room to work with. Get some more of that. Okay. So that's just got a light gold coat on it. Okay. Stencil lay it aside. And because I'm not a big fan of this at the moment. Paint. See what see what it looks like. Ugh, even worse. Alright, alright, alright. I'll fix it. Alright. So no more golden purple. That just seems to be ugly. Back to my English navy. Just to see what happens. Put the marks on it. Don't really show up very well on top of that black. 
Oops. Move the stencil. That's not helpful. Paper here and pick that up. That turned out pretty cool. It's kind of light, but can work with that one. So, so far. As you can tell, this is just, you know, one big mess and it's trial and error. These are the two sheets I rolled the um, extra paint off of. Actually, I actually had a third one here, but I only had one roll on it. And the pattern is because I had a, a stencil underneath the piece of paper when I rolled on it. Um, this one is uh, uh, different colors of roll off, and then I cleaned the, stencil, the jelly plate off with that. This is just uh, three different colors that I rolled off on the piece of paper. This one, mud. Now this one turned out pretty cute. I can see putting another layer on there, maybe a nice shiny layer. This one I don't like at all. I do not like the black with that pattern, but everything is redeemable. This one turned out pretty cool. I do like this one. It does need a little bit of more uh, texture to it. This one is is really nice. I love the, the hints of uh, black underneath that. Um, it could still use some more um, color on top of that, but it's kind of wet to work with right now. And then this one. This one turned out nice too. I like that. So I think I'm going to do one last step. And all I'm going to do is put a coat of white down. It's a brand new white. I didn't realize I had a little thing on the inside. I use a lot of white. This is just um, an apple barrel. So I'm going to put some white. Does not have to be an even coat of any by any means. I'm gonna roll off on the back of one of these papers. Now I'm gonna take this paper and I just want to pick up just a little bit here and there, so I'm gonna put this over it. Let's see how this looks. If this isn't going to work for this, I'm going to have to try something different. It's just not, it's just mud underneath there. That's what I get for not letting it dry. Just a little bit. All the edges. See the where I got that? Oh, it's pretty cool. So that's where it's at so far. I'm gonna go over here, up at this corner, get some more at this spot right here. Maybe a little bit here and here. I move this a little bit there. Just a 
little bit more in the middle. Eh, it's getting there. Okay, that was my mud paper. This one was one I was thinking might need a little bit more on top of it. So I'm just going to touch it on there. how that one is so far. Another one. A little bit of that white. Oh, it's getting pretty dry. Oh, we still got a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to see if I can get that last bit of white off of there. Might be too dry. Yep, it's too dry. Okay. So, we're going to go right over the top of this white. I think. Yep. I think I'm just going to put another. No. I think I'm going to put some. Navy blue over it. Can't hurt. Oh, oh, grab the wrong blue. This one is called Admiral Blue. Admiral Blue. It is a an apple barrel color. this other stencil. Pick up some of this. Eh, well, you know how it is. It's easier than using a paintbrush. Shoot! Didn't quite mean to do that. I've got 50 million layers on this muddy one already, but I'm going to try one last layer. Okay, 100% redeemable. Love it, love it, love it. I think I'm getting too dry again. That's it for that one. I'm going to pop that over into the archives. Now, the floor. Do I want some blue on this one here? If there's any blue left, get a little bit in this corner. Let's 
see what we can pick up. Oh, yeah. Good grunge on that one. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We got navy. Or Admiral Blue, that was. This is a little bit more damp stuff. Let's see what we can pick up on this piece of paper. Not much, but I like it. Looks good. I think I'm done with that one. Uh, I still got this one. I don't like this side at all, but I do have this side that was the roll off. However, since I got this color blue on there, and I still need to finish this one and do a little bit of something something on this one. Let's see. We got purple and green. And I think I think I want to go back to the, the English Navy right over the top of this and see what happens. See how that comes out. One of these papers. Now I already got a bunch of stencil coverage, like little bits left on there. On the plate. Oh, this is going to be kind of a purple again. I don't think I want to try the blue. I'm not sure what, what this will do. Hmm. A little bit more than I planned on there. That'll work for a layer. Then I'm going to take this one that I was rolling off on and pick up some more of that. Get that a little bit heavier on there. On the edges. And you can see, uh, for me anyway, this is almost like a never-ending thing because if you're rolling off on something, even if you're using the back of something, I mean at some point you realize you can turn it over and make another print, so you're constantly making new prints. I got this one, I never put any white on it, so I think my next color is going to be more of the white. At some point I'm going to have to switch to a... I'm going to have to break out another color, I'm running out of options here. I don't even know why I said that. That's not really true. Okay, we got white here because I had blue under there and I didn't let it dry. And something's pulling. It must be a weird layer there. Okay. It's kind of a pale blue. And I want to use the stencil that I've been rolling on. And I am going to just pick up a little bit of this color that with this. Okay, enough of that. might need some white on it. But while we've got this out, I'm going to pick up some more up on this one. Get it all layered up. Okay, so I just did these three. One, two, three. This one is not ready for anything in it. I'm going to use this one here 
and get the rest of it off just around the edges. Get it out of the stencil. I am not a fan of the stencil, just using just the stencil over the top, like a, the full pattern. I don't know why, I just don't like it too much. blue. I have a lot of colors, but I'm just not sure what seems kind of cool right now. I know what I'd like is an orange, and I don't seem to have an actual orange orange. I have this. It's called Flaming Coral. Let's see what that does with this blue. Hopefully it doesn't make mud. Okay, now with that, I just want this baby web. Can lay that right in there. Okay, I'm going to use this page here, and I'm going to do the edges. Hmm. Huh, I'm a huge fan of that. It is what it is. Put that one aside. I'm gonna just see if I can get the texture of this in there. Break that up a little bit. Ooh, that spun it. Okay. Now I am going to go over this one. This being the back side of this one that I never that I didn't really like. I'm just gonna pick up some of that. Oh, too much. It's going to need some white. one. Get a little bit of that orange picked up on there. I think if we do this, get that. I'll call that one done. Back to the white. A little white and a little black. And I think that'll be the end of these pages. mark making. I'm going to use a cap off my distress spray. Put that back on. Probably wish I hadn't. I just made some circles on this page. I didn't really want a whole lot on there. Maybe just a little tiny tidbit of, of 
Yeah, I better put something on there. I'll end up with too much. Oh, wait, I just need this. Man, these are so heavy. Just a little tiny bit of, of the white here and there. <coughs> I'm not sure I picked any up. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, some squares, rectangles. Much more on this one. Oh. I think maybe just a little bit up here and here. Okay. And I think that one is done. So I maybe come back with a little bit of extra mark making later or something. I'm not sure. I know this one needed a little bit more white as well. I'm going to put that on there. Paint's starting to dry. Wow, that's cool. Okay, let's do that then. Get them by kind of accident. There we go. I think I'll need to come back with some black later maybe on that. But for now, I'm happy with that one. Now, what have we got left here? We still have this purple black on one side and this color on the other side. I'm not happy with either of these, but I think I'm going to take this one and clean off my plate. Huh. Not bad, not bad. And I think um, a little bit of black, and then that's where I'm going to stop for today. The rest of this jelly plate cleared off and call it a day. Come on. This one is the um, folk art licorice. Looking for a piece of paper, I can put black on the back. There we go. Okay. Now I got black. And I'm going to try doing this. I'm using this piece of paper here. So I got starting to lighten up a little bit outside, which is nice. So black since I got up. It's only a little, little after nine, and apparently it's supposed to rain all day. Normally it's a good thing because we need it, but we've had so much rain lately. I got my old carriage house out there. I need to. I finally got one side of it 
scraped and painted and I need to do the rest of it, but it's just been so wet, not enough dry time to get out there and get it all done. Need to hopefully get it done before we head down to the place in North Carolina and winter hits here. Ooh, just thinking about it. Winter. Not my favorite. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra flat. I'm going to... This stencil is really a mess. I'm going to roll it on the back side of that one I'm working on. Try to get some of that wet paint off. And then I'm going to pick up some more of this quite the effect I was looking for, but it'll work. Hey, there's always more you can do to these, like, um, you know, use stamps and markers and um, well, paint, paint lines or whatever designs you like. <coughs> but I think for now, a little bit more here on this corner. I had to look sideways across it to see where the wet spots are. Whew. Okay. Right, for now, I'm going to call this done. And then I'll show you what we accomplished today. So I got that one. You can tell that one's not quite done. It needs some more white. This one definitely needs uh, some more filled in. Mm. We got that one. I haven't done anything up here yet, but overall, when this this was one I had a problem with, that was that purple and black one. This this side didn't turn out too bad. I think it needs some black, navy blue, something on it. Mm. All right, this one turned out really cute. I like this one. Little circles on it too. That was from when I put the white and I used the cap of my uh, distress spray, and then I just realized I put that back on my spray without cleaning it. That was smart. Um, this one, I really like this one. This one is the blue, orange, and white for the most part. That's all that's on it. That was cute. I think it could use a little bit more dark, maybe some navy or even black. This one I really love. This one uh, with the green, it's got just a little bit of black, a little bit of the white. That was really cute. And then that one, this one is probably, out of all of them, I think this one is my favorite. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How can I stop with nine? That's horrible. But I guess that's where we're at. In uh, almost an hour, I made <laughs> nine pieces of paper. Now, if I finish these up, you know, I add more details to them, um, I could take pictures of them and then just print them out and use them as um, backgrounds for other things. But All right. Well, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.